How do people actually learn content on websites or mobile apps? People scan the page first to get a sense of it, and only after that they decide what content they want to read. The F-shape pattern is the most common scanning pattern for text-heavy web pages, and in this video we will learn when and how to use it. The F-shaped scanning pattern is an approach users take to read the content on websites or in an app. You may wonder why it's called F-shaped. This pattern was coined by Nielsen Norman Group when they studied how people read content on the web. They tracked the eye movement of people who read the web pages and created a heat map with areas of user interests. The heat map looked somewhat like a letter F. Apart from that, F also means fast. When we talk about web design, the word read is not exactly correct. Users don't read every word on a page. Most of the time, they scan the page. And when we design pages, we need to optimize them for fast scanning. It's essential to consider the F-shaped pattern and create a design with a proper visual hierarchy that people can scan easily. When to use an F-shape pattern? The F pattern works well for text-heavy web pages like blogs and news websites. If a page has a lot of content, especially text, users will respond better to a layout designed according to the natural scanning format. Let's see how the F-shape pattern works on the CNN website. When visitors land on a CNN page, they first read a horizontal movement across the upper part of the page. This eye movement forms the top part of the letter F. Next, they scan a vertical line down to the left side of the screen, looking for points of interest on the page. When they finally find something interesting, they read a line and in their eye movement forms a second horizontal line of the letter F. The second line typically covers a shorter area than the previous movement. This time a person reads a little bit less than previously. User follows the same approach for the rest of the page. Obviously, user can scan the page in many different ways and even can read the entire text line by line. For example, when users find something they like, they begin reading normally, forming horizontal lines. Now let's answer two popular questions about the F-shape pattern. Does it work for mobile users? Yes, mobile users scan the page the same way as desktop users, although the F-shape pattern is a bit smaller. Does an F-shape pattern work for languages where people read from right to left, like Arabic? Yes, but in this case they follow the reverse pattern meaning they start at the right corner of the screen and move to the left corner. Now let's discuss some practical tips to make the most of this pattern. First tip – break content into chunks. Chunks are small units of information. Imagine you open a page and see a long blocks of text like this one. Reading this block is not the most enjoyable exercise. Content chunking makes it easier for users to comprehend the information. That's why it's recommended to break content blocks into paragraphs. A paragraph should be 100 to 200 words long, and it's always better to cover only one key area per single paragraph. The first two paragraphs on a page are the most critical because they create the context for the page. People scan the page first to get the sense of it, and the first two paragraphs either motivate users to stay or make them leave. You need to engage users, so that they are more willing to learn more. Write the paragraphs in a way to minimize the time required to understand the nature of the content. It's essential to maximize the effect of the communication value they provide and offer a hook that will motivate visitors to check the page. If you have a lot of content, you must carefully prioritize it and place the most important content near the top of the page to ensure that the user will read it. Tip number 3. Highlight essential text elements using different font styling. 
In the scanning process, the eye fixate on anchors, areas that naturally attract attention. Such areas have more visual weight than others. As a result, when people scan the page, we look at the most dominant element, the element or area with a significant contrast. When it comes to text, you can make important keywords bold to attract readers' attention. Next tip, add headings. Headings and subheadings act as anchors. They attract attention and create a context for what the user will read next. Make headings look different from the rest of the text. For example, make them bolder. Try to use bullet points for the list because bullet points will simplify scanning. Bullets make it easier for users to scan the elements. The main problem with the F-shape layout is that it's a bit monotone. It's way too easy to create repetitive and similar blocks of content. And when users scan the layout, they get bored. They can easily abandon reading your content. You can break the monotony of the text by introducing nice images that capture user attention and keep them engaged in reading. Images naturally attract the viewer's attention and reinforce the message you want to communicate with the plain words. That's why images are so popular on landing pages. F-shaped pattern is rooted in human behavior. When users land on a page, they want to scan it first to understand what the page is all about. Page layouts play a significant role in how people scan the content. It's important to optimize the design to make it easier for users to scan the page. If you like this video, please subscribe and click the bell icon so you'll never miss a new video. Thank you!